Let me ask you something. Do you control your thoughts or do your thoughts control you? Well, for most of us, unless you're superhuman, your thoughts are going to control you. A huge part of everything that happens in your day happens because of a subconscious thought that started that pattern of events. So what we often need to do as humans is eliminate distractions and put ourselves in an environment where our thoughts are going to lead us down the right path. Whether you're a student studying for a test or you're a busy entrepreneur trying to complete work, it really doesn't matter who you are. This is going to apply to you because we all get distracted. So this video is about quickly capturing distracting thoughts that you have in your Notion workspace and then being able to come back to those later. I'll probably make another video on organizing your thoughts and processing your thoughts, but this video is mainly about how to quickly capture them so that you're not context switching between applications constantly and you're not getting distracted and knocking off your focus. All right, here we are inside of the productive brain. If you guys aren't familiar with the productive brain, this is a template that I released and it comes in light mode as you're looking at right now, as well as dark mode. If you want to check out the full demo video of the productive brain, you can check out the link in the upper right hand corner of this video. But today I wanted to focus in on the quick capture module. This is one of the ways that I quickly capture notes, tasks, and bookmarks throughout the day whenever I am busy. So by using this quick capture module, if I wanted to take a new note, all I would do is hit new and it pops up this nice little side peek here. And as you can see, it doesn't add it to this database. It just leaves it blank. So it's literally just a button to create a new note. And then I can enter my note details, give it a name. And if I want to, I can fill out my source and my space, but this is about quick capture, right? This is about quickly writing down a fleeting thought. So I usually don't fill this out because later this system also allows you to come back and process this note rather than having to enter all those details now. So for now, I would just enter like a few quick bullets before that thought runs away. And then I could just get right back to my work. And not only does this work for notes, it works for tasks and bookmarks as well. So if I have a website that I want to save, uh, they will all end up in my all bookmarks area after I add a new one here. And same goes with tasks. They go right into my task system that's all hooked up with like this sort of GTD routine or a getting things done routine. And there are other parts of this system that work together. But the point of this video is just to kind of show you guys this quick capture module and share the power of it. So if you wanted to create a quick capture module, this is essentially how you would do it. You would create a page first and let's just call this our tasks page let's say we wanted a quick capture tasks that are popping into our head throughout the day i know for me as a busy entrepreneur with multiple businesses and multiple things going on as well as side projects i have all kinds of things my focus is going in way too many directions so when i'm trying to focus on many things at once a task database can be a great way to organize all those tasks so this video isn't so much about organizing but i am going to turn this tasks page into a table and we're going to create a new database and we'll just call it tasks one because I already have another tasks database. I don't wanna make this confusing. I'm gonna delete this tags property here. And as you can see, we just have a name column. Let's just rename this to task. And now we have a very basic task table. I could also add a checkbox property really quick and we'll name it complete squeeze it down. And from a very basic perspective, this is a task table. Now, just for the sake of example, let's add a few tasks in here. So I've got three tasks in here now. And if I go back to my demo page, as you can see, I have my tasks one page here as well. And I can kind of toggle into here and I can see all my tasks. But if I wanted to create a quick capture module, what I would typically do is just hit slash type in call out and you're going to have a block that appears and you can call this the quick capture. All right, and we can add in a little brain here, make that bold. And then let's add uh, a divider in here, let's drag that back into our quick capture module. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna hit plus and I'm gonna start typing create. And where it says linked view of database, that's what we wanna click on here. And we can find the database that we want to capture from, click on it. 
And now, as you can see, we have our tasks database here, but there's something wrong with this, right? We see all of our tasks and it can be very distracting. So if we want a quick capture module, I recommend hiding the database title. We can rename this to capture and we can add some filters to hide the different tasks. Okay, so what you're gonna actually wanna do is add one more property and this is how you can hide the tasks. So let's just do created time and every task is going to have a created time. So if I do a filter by created time and then we go to it, add advanced filter, created is uh, empty. And as you can see, now we have a uh, quick capture table. You could also turn this into a list if you wanted to make it a little bit nicer, like so. And then now it's just a uh, new button. And if we click new, as you can see, we can quickly capture a new task. And it's not going to uh, cloud up our capture module here. We can just go back into our tasks database and sort it as we please, uh, like we have right here we can check things off as well. As you can see, that new task has been added. Now this quick capture module is great, but sometimes you're just on the go and you have to use your phone for this. So I'm going to show you next how to set up a quick capture module right on your phone. So what we would do is we'd create another page in our database, or if you guys want to, um, this is all integrated within the productive brain system. So if I go to Carter's workspace, the productive brain here, as you can see, we already have all of these elements built. Uh, you can find a link to this in the description or the top pinned comment. But if I go to the capture page, this is what it looks like, right? So it's just the capture module. And if I just go ahead and head back to our demo here, I'll show you how to build a capture module really quick. So, well, we've already done it here. So we might as well just turn this into a synced block. Then we can uh, copy link to block, create a new page called quick capture module. Then I'm just going to hit command V to paste and paste and sync. Now we've got a quick capture module page. At this point, I'm going to head over to my phone and we're going to actually integrate this quick capture module into the phone so that if I'm on the go, I can just tap one button and then it's right there for me to use. So as you can see, this is my iPhone home screen. And right now I have this capture button in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to tap it. And as you can see, it pulls me into the productive brain capture module. We have the beautiful dark mode capture module for all of our notes, tasks, and bookmarks here on the phone. So if you wanted to implement this quick capture module, all you would do is hold down your screen. If you're on an iPhone like so, and then you're going to hit the plus button in the upper left. And here where it says search widgets, we're just going to type in Notion. From here, you can tap the Notion icon and there's a few different types of widgets that you can choose from here. But what we're going to select is this very first one, page. All right, and we're gonna hit add widget. Now what you can do is just tap on that Notion widget, select your workspace and then go to uh, page and find your quick capture module. So I'm just gonna click quick capture module, and then I'm gonna close that and hit done. Now, if I tap into that page, as you can see, that quick capture module is showing up, the same one that we created back on the computer, and I can just hit new, and boom, I'm instantly adding a new task from my phone. But the point of this is that it makes it a lot easier to quick capture a thought when you're on the go. So that quick capture module is amazing and I use it every single day. So if you want to access that, you can use the template or you can create your own version of it. I just kind of gave you guys the first steps to doing that. But now I wanna show you another way that you can quickly capture your tweets. So if you're a fan of Twitter and you use Twitter, um, this is a great tool. Uh, I came across it a little while back and I had seen other people using it. They were doing at safe to notion. So all you would actually have to do here is 
type in at save to notion on any tweet and it will send that tweet over to notion for you so it's a pretty cool app and i just wanted to showcase it for you guys for those of you who know about it you know how useful this can be for those of you who don't know about it definitely check out at save to notion they have a free version just go to save to notion.com and this is going to allow you to quickly just save your thoughts and it looks like they're even adding uh i didn't know about this but they're adding telegram and reddit as well uh well they've got telegram and it looks like reddit is coming soon but these are just quick ways to move your thoughts from a social media platform or move somebody else's tweet or somebody else's post directly into notion super fast just by commenting below it at save to notion so i have found this to be a great tool and if you don't want to have to use like the at save to notion to send a tweet to notion you can go into premium here and you can actually uh there's some different ways that you can save these as well just by dming it to the at save to notion so that you don't have to be public with what you're saving into your account but this is a great app I use it pretty regularly if I'm on Twitter and I see a cool tweet that I want to save or something insightful that I want to remember. And I recommend you guys try this out as well for your quick capture. I'm not affiliated with Save to Notion, but I will have a link down in my description if you guys want to find that and check it out. There's a bit of an integration process that they're going to walk you through, but it's fairly simple uh, if you just follow the instructions that they lay out. This next method for quickly capturing is a Chrome extension called Save to Notion. Now, this is different from the Twitter, uh, from the Twitter version of Save to Notion, but this is a Chrome extension that you can install. I'll have a link to this in the description below. Again, not affiliated with these guys, um, but I do use this app and I like it quite a lot. So if I'm reading an article like this one here about uh, Twitter and the whole decentralized social media race, uh, I can scroll down here and if I'm reading about this and I wanted to bookmark this page, all I would do is click up here on this uh, save to notion or notion saver. And this is going to automatically pull me into my bookmarks, which is uh, part of the uh, productive brain template. And I can just hit clip page and that's gonna save that to Notion for me. All right, now jumping back into my productive brain, if I go down to all bookmarks, you'll see that it saved this bookmark here, has the little icon, the little favicon for the page, the title of the article. If I click on it, you'll see that the URL has mapped here. And they also even threw in the image for the page. There's also an option to where you can actually pull all the content off the page. But for my bookmarks, I typically like to just leave it simple and have the URL because if I want to go back to it, I can just by clicking on this. And then if I wanted to favorite it, I could hit favorite and that's gonna go into my favorite bookmarks right here. Not that I would want to favorite this one because it's not going to be something that I'm frequenting. It's just an example article, but I'm gonna unfavorite that. And as you can see here, we have just the, uh, the two uh, that I have favorited and that one is stored with the rest of my bookmarks. So these have been some methods for quickly capturing information, whether it's bookmarks, tasks, or notes in Notion. And I just wanted to run through the demo of how I personally do it with my personal template. Hopefully you can take this and integrate it in your life, in your Notion account. So next time you're focusing and you have a distracting thought that's super important, or at least you think it's super important, uh, you can just jot it down using one of these quick capture methods, and then you can get back to focusing on your work. The point of this video was to give you a tool to help you focus better and really just give you an overall more productive, successful life. And I think these building blocks that I'm going to be presenting in my next few videos on the second brain system that I've created in Notion will help you do just that. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, comment below and let us know, give us some nice feedback and like this video if you enjoyed it. It'll help us out. It'll help the algorithm understand which videos are helping people here on YouTube. So looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I'll see you later.